In the third module of this program, we will focus specifically on the composition and function of surfactant, and we will describe the function of the four surfactant proteins. The majority of surfactant is composed of phospholipids. Almost 70% of surfactant is composed of phosphatidylcholine, with approximately half being saturated and the other half being unsaturated. 10% of phospholipids are made up of phosphatidylglycerol, with another 13% composed of neutral lipids like cholesterol and diacylglycerol, and phospholipids like sphingomyelin. Approximately 10% of surfactant is composed of surfactant proteins. There are four types of surfactant proteins, A, B, C, and D, that are essential for respiratory function, and these will be discussed on the following slides. Surfactant protein A is pictured inside the tubular myelin structure on the right of this slide. Surfactant protein A is the most abundant of the surfactant proteins. It is hydrophilic in nature and it is made by type 2 cells and non-ciliated cells. Clara cells are found in the lining of the terminal and respiratory bronchioles and they are involved in numerous lung functions including secretion of Clara cell secretory protein or CCSP and contribution of apoproteins A, B, and D, as well as other proteases, peptides, cytokines, and mucins to the extracellular fluid lining the airspace. Chromosome 10 is responsible for formation of surfactant protein A early in the third trimester. Its weight is between 28 and 32 kilodaltons, and its production is induced by steroids in vitro. Surfactant protein A is responsible for many roles, including tubular myelin formation and surface absorption of phospholipids. Adsorption is the adhesion of an extremely thin layer of molecules to the surfaces in which they are in contact. This is in contrast to the process of absorption, which occurs when a substance is gradually taken up, as is the case when water is absorbed by a sponge. In addition, it enhances phospholipid uptake and inhibits phospholipid secretion. It plays a major role in host defense by playing a part in agglutination, opsonization, decreasing viral activity, and modulation of inflammation. In animal models, symptoms of surfactant protein A deficiency include increased susceptibility to infections in the setting of normal lung function. Of note, no humans have been found to have isolated surfactant protein A deficiency. Surfactant protein B is a hydrophobic protein that is necessary for lung function. The hydrophobic nature of the protein helps to anchor it at lipid surfaces. It is produced by type 2 and Clara cells. The genes for surfactant protein B are coded for on chromosome 2 and surfactant protein B is 8 kilodaltons in size. Its production is also induced by steroids in vitro. It is a major component of tubular myelin and it is essential. Infants with surfactant protein B deficiency will often die early in life from severe respiratory failure. Surfactant protein C is the smallest surfactant protein at only 4 kilodaltons. It is hydrophobic and forms an alpha helix which is the spring-shaped structure embedded in the phospholipid film as shown in this picture. This allows the proteins to serve in a critical role of transporting phospholipids to the air-liquid interface and contributing to the stability of the phospholipid film during compression. Surfactant protein C is expressed on chromosome 8 and it is first expressed at the end of the first trimester. It is also induced by steroids in vitro. In SPC knockout mice, there is minimal effect on respiratory function or survival. Human respiratory disease in the neonatal period caused by surfactant protein C deficiency has not been described. However, an autosomal dominant form of surfactant protein C deficiency causes chronic interstitial lung disease in humans and can present in infancy. Surfactant protein D is a dodecamer and is hydrophilic in nature. A dodecamer consists of 12 proteins in a complex. It is the largest surfactant protein at 43 kilodaltons, and it is found mostly in type 2 cells as well as non-pulmonary cells. Like surfactant protein A, the genes for surfactant protein D are coded for on chromosome 10. 
Surfactant protein D plays a major role in immune function by acting during agglutination, opsonization, and modulation of inflammation. It is expressed early in the third trimester and its role is to regulate surfactant balance. Null mice for surfactant protein D are four times more likely to have phospholipids and macrophages with a foamy appearance. This foamy appearance has been implicated in sustaining bacteria and contributing to tissue pathology. In animal models, symptoms of surfactant protein D deficiency include increased susceptibility to infections in the setting of normal lung function. No humans have been found to have isolated surfactant protein D deficiency. Please pause the recording here and take a moment to compare and contrast the characteristics, structure, and function of the four surfactant proteins. In summary, there are four surfactant proteins which each have specific functions. Surfactant protein B, in particular, is essential for survival. Surfactant protein C deficiency presents later in infancy with an interstitial type lung disease. Surfactant proteins A and D play supportive roles in lung function. This concludes Module 3. Thank you for your attention. We would like to acknowledge the American Academy of Pediatrics, the Organization of Neonatology Training Program Directors, Neo Reviews, and Abbott Nutrition for their support of this educational program. This concludes this module.